Good morning, folks. I have uh, some errands to run today. The dogs are going to be one of those errands. Hulabo has ringworm on her back, so she's got to go to the dog hospital. I have a feeling they know that I want to take them out, though. Let's see if you can recognize the indications that I know. You know, you need to go in the backpack. On the backpack doesn't do you any good. We're talking about swimming in that water. It's green and sludgy and algae filled. It was like when you were a treasure hunter when you were young and you had a business. <laughs> a treasure hunter and you would dive in the canals. My first ever business. How old was I? 15, 16? Oh, yeah, yeah you know. I think so. I had business cards made. First of all, I lived in Detroit, but it was on a, on water, you know, the Great Lakes. And we lived on a, on a lake, a lot of boats. And so my jobs kind of surrounded on that. I had lots of jobs. I've had over 60 some jobs in my life. And one of them was working as a gas attendant, filling up boats that came to the boat gas station. And one guy had these really expensive glasses on when I was filling up his boat and he looked over the side of the boat, his glasses fell into the water, and he was like, damn, those things were like $200. And I said, I can hold my breath for a long time. You give me 25 bucks, I'll go get them for you. So uh, an idea was born. I called my company Treasure Hunter, I printed up business cards, yep. and I ended up finding stuff all over, uh, all, over. all over. Everybody knew my name. I was the dude. I worked that job for quite some time. I uh, picked up everything from lost boat keys, propellers that came off of other boats, wallets, all anchors. sorts of stuff, anchors. <laughs> I did this job for a long time, up until one day. I was called to uh, rescue a guy's keys that had fallen off the end of the pier where his boat was. And I remember going to the area where his boat was, and he's like, the, my keys are right around here. One thing that I used to do is, I could hold my breath a really long time, like three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. So I would, I would do this thing where I would jump in, and the first time I went down, I would find the person's object. And it happened this time, I found this guy's keys. So I jumped in, I got this guy's keys, but I would put them in my pocket underwater. Because what would happen is I would feel guilty. Because I'm like, the guy's paying me 20 bucks, and if I just jump in and get his keys on the first try, it won't be valuable to him. Like, it'll be like, he got it too quick. I'm not gonna give him 20 bucks, I'll give him five bucks. You know, that's what I thought would happen. So what I did is I would put the keys in my pocket and then I'd come up and then go down, come up and then go down. I'd do it three or four times so that it would look like, oh, I got good value out of that guy. The reason I, I, we talked about this story is because the water in my lake where we used to live is very similar to the water that was back there, green and ugly and somewhat putrid. The bottom was just like two feet of sludge, you know? So I would I would go to the bottom, I'd stick my feet into the sludge and just kind of hang out underwater as long as I could. So the guy felt like he was, oh, that guy's really looking for my stuff. I should give him a tip, you know? <laughs> so anyways, I come up after three or four tries and I said, I got him. I really had gotten him a long time ago. And uh, I, I pull him out of my pocket, I give it to the guy. And he looks at me, he's like, man, I can't believe you did that. And I said, what do you mean, man? It's easy, it's what I do, I'm good at it. He's like, no, they just poisoned the lake. And he pointed to a sign at the end of the pier that said that there was so much algae in the lake that they actually put poison in the lake to kill all the excess algae. During that time, it's extremely toxic. Like, <laughs> like, dangerous toxic. You knew this all along and you hired me, a young kid to jump in this water? Who the hell do you think you are? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna jump in the water with that kind of poison in the water, but I'll pay some young kid to do it. That was the end of my first business. There's no way I'm jumping in that water again. <laughs> I could just see you coming up with a third eye or something. I don't know. Something weird. A third eye in the back of my head, that'd be yeah, kind of cool. Be I kind of have a third eye when I drive around China. <laughs> that place over there is the... Uh, yeah. This is a puppy hospital. Hopefully they'll come back looking beautiful, primped and firmed and no fungus. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, well that was a failure. That was really difficult to communicate to those ladies. Let's hope this is not a theme of things not going my way. But 
Now I'm going to the hospital, I gotta get my MRIs. This is where I need to pick up my MRIs, and it is 11.35, and they're closed. With my phone being out of juice, the dog place not being able to accept the dogs, and that MRI not being able to get taken. That's three strikes. Three. I'm getting very frustrated. All right, we're batting 100. Now I wanna go and call Annie and tell her that we need to get ready for lunch, and I'll pick her up at the house, but my phone has no service. It's one of those days. Hopefully it's just one of those mornings. All right, we're back at my house. We're gonna go see Annie, get Eva ready to go, and take mom to Nantang Lajia, which is like a traditional Chinese street. Just need a reset, just like a, just like a big whoosh. Let's try a whoosh. Whoa. Okay, all right. We've been reset. Hey, Tinker Dinker Doo. Who's that? Say hi, world. You like hanging out with Grandma? Grandma, you like hanging out with? Oh, you know oh. I do. I didn't come thousands of miles oh. for nothing. Oh, one thing uh, from yesterday uh, that you guys didn't see is Mom brought this from America for for me and Eva. Actually, for Eva. I mean, do you guys know why I named Eva Eva? Because of because of this little character from Wally. Do you remember that movie Wally about the robot? This little robot was named Eva. My mom found her and brought her. I just like it was a touching story about you know two little robots that kind of fall in love and brought Eva a little Eva. Hello, Eva. Mom says I was uh, I was. What did you say I was? Two tenths. Did you ever hear the joke about the two tenths? Guy goes into the doctor, the doctor says, what's your problem? The guy says, one day I feel like a teepee, one day I feel like a wigwam, one day teepee, one day wigwam, one day teepee, one day wigwam. After the doctor says, I know what your problem is, you're too tense. <laughs> All right, we are at Nantang Laudra. I was lifting the baby's bassinet out of the car, and I torqued my back really bad. I'm like an old man. <laughs> This place is called Tiaga B. Yeah, I came here long, long, long time ago. This is like my first exposure to Ningbo food. They have really good roast chicken. Did we get enough food, Mom? Not enough. <laughs> All right, Mom. So that was your Ningbo food adventure. Full? I, I am, yeah, <laughs> I am. The Dinner's coming soon. How did you like it, Stinker oh. Dinker Doo? This line here is for the, uh, what's it called, honey? Huh? What's this food called? You did? Here, it's this, over here. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, that one tastes just like animal crackers. This area, Nantang. Like, what What would you say, what percentage is original? Like zero? Here? Yeah. No, no, no. Still have some original. Maybe 10 or 20 percent. But most of it is like, like this walkway is all new, new rebuild. What do you think? Um, I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah? 
Mm-hmm. This is China. You're half of this. Half of all of this is you. All right, ended our trip to Nantan. Where will we go next? I don't know. Apparently back home, I had some back pain, so I took some pain medication and passed out. Mom slept as well. Hi. <laughs> Food is cooking. This is duck. Duck. <laughs> so we're gonna have dinner and then do our on the couch wrap up. Eva is just loving the fish tank. Can't think of where it was. <laughs> okay, thank you. And the fish are loving Eva, look at them. Hey Eva, hey Eva. It's like they're teaching her. Yeah. Highlight of the day? I enjoyed walking through that area. Yeah. Nantang Lao Chia? Uh, what was your highlight of the day? Change the... Change, the change the lights? Your word you learned today? Nali. Nali, what does that mean? Where. Where. Yes. She's so smart. Awesome. You know. She gets it from me. Her, his back hurt. Yeah. Yeah, my back is very, yeah. very sore. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Yeah. Like. Like. Share. Share. Comment. And Jayo. Jayo. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>